This is Tom Kershaw for Raps on TV. I'm delighted to be joined by Olympic silver medalist Joe Joyce. Joe, you've made your debut on Friday. How are you feeling? Yeah, very well, very good. I'm feeling you know, sharp and ready to go Friday night. And obviously you've competed at huge events already. Do you still feel nervous going into this or is it all you've done it all before now? No, I never feel nervous because you know, I've ticked all the boxes and I'm just um, excited to get back in the ring. And I'm sure when you turned over you had a lot of offers from different promoters. What made you choose Haymaker? Yeah, it was, it was very tough at that time because I had so many, so many things going through my head, so many offers. So it made it hard to make an informed decision but I feel like I've made the right decision for me in choosing uh, a way for Rinstock. And you teamed up with Ishmael Salas. What's it like working with such a renowned coach? I was a great coach. We got well and uh, he was teaching me uh, his Cubano uh, worldly boxing style. Yeah, I got a clip of that earlier of the Capoeira stuff as well. That's, a piece. Oh, that's, that's something that's different as well. Yeah, that's something different. <laughs> Is that from him, or is that just a little hobby of your own? Oh, I did. Uh, I did some capoeira before. I've, you know, I've done various martial arts like karate, kickboxing, kung fu, capoeira, Shaolin. Yeah. I've done a few. Man of all combat. Yeah. And, uh, I like combat sports. Yeah. <laughs> and I know you went over to America and did some sparring over there. Can you tell us a bit about that? Oh yeah, I did some great rounds. Oh, uh, <laughs> America. Yeah, so we yeah, so did some great rounds with Dominic Brazil, um, Rain Stavern, and a couple of others. So, yeah, the, camp, the camp's gone well. I've ticked all the boxes and I'm ready to go. As far as we know, Stavern's going to take on Wilder in the rematch if that does happen. Do you think that Wilder's got the edge there again, having shared the ring with him? Or? Yeah, I think, I think Wilder will not do him again. And you take on Ian Lewis, which is uh, he's a very established domestic fighter for your debut. Uh, yeah. What threats do you see him bringing to the table? Well, uh, he's got the, the layout Lewis and Punch, so yeah. I have to watch out for that. Or both hands, I don't know which hand. But, yeah, he's, he's, he's obviously very strong and durable, and um, you know he's got knockout power, so I need to be careful and on my A game. Uh, Can you give us a prediction for fight night? Uh, Joe Joyce victory. Any specific round or whenever it comes? Yeah, when, whenever it comes. I'm not going to be looking for it. I'm just going to be looking to land shots on his head. And one thing I just wanted to ask you is, I know that what many people don't know is you got a fine art degree from oh, Middlesex. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you still get much time to get creative now, or is this really boxing? Yeah, I, I, I try not to like divide my time too much, but I, I love art, and I, I will be t taking up uh, when I at the end of my career. Yeah. I've got plenty of work to um, put on a you know a gallery show, an exhibition, and maybe oh, maybe great, an auction. Yeah. Know, it must be quite a nice contrast to have, you know, going from combat to sitting down, getting the brushes out. Yeah, I mean, if anyone wants to commission me, I might, I might, do, I might do a piece or two. Uh, that's great, Joe Joyce. Thank you very much for talking to Raps on TV. Best of luck on Friday. Oh,